Hello everyone and welcome back to another sketchbook tour. So this summer I didn't really have a lot of time and energy for sketching on the side. So there's a small gap in my sketchbook in especially July and August. But there are ways to finish a page in um, a satisfying way even if you can't sketch very often. And I'll try and show you this in a minute. So I'm still fighting a little bit with my paper at the moment. And as some of you know... I like to use otherwise unused papers for my sketchbook and currently I'm going through a very unpleasant batch of different papers that um, I feel impact the quality of my sketches in different ways and maybe it's the particular mix of papers, uh, maybe I'm just rusty, I don't really know but either way I'm happy when I can finally use something else to sketch on. So let's start at the end of May when I did a quick sketch of the different chili peppers on my balcony. They were still green and unripe at that stage and since then the plants have grown a lot and they have ripened into all kinds of beautiful colors. Uh, I tried to take a look at all the different shapes and forms here and the interesting blooms that different chili peppers have. And a large part of the sketchbook tour will be the pages that I made for my last class, Drawing Ideas for Summer. So let's start with this page of field flowers. I remember the beautiful sunny days back in June when I selected the different uh, flower plants for sketching. And it was a great pleasure drawing all of these different flowers. So there's poppy, chamomile, uh, phacelia, then a kind of spare word, clover and a crane bill. I also did a demo for how to draw tree shapes in the class and a short outtake of the video lessons ended up on YouTube too, so feel free to check this one out. And there were other lessons that showed an approach to uh, how to do tree and leaf portraits and how to sketch different kind of insects. And I also showed how to sketch small landscapes with a limited palette and a quick approach to sketching maps. And this is always a very fun activity. I had really uh, a lot of fun doing this one. And one of the final outtakes from this class shows different tricks to sh sketching white birds on a white background. And after that, I mainly had time for composite pages that I worked on for several days. So for this page of uh, different butterflies and a fox, I worked from different photos and added elements to my page bit by bit. So um, first I did the sketch of this one and then uh, I didn't have a really a lot of time. And then it took a few days until I was able to do these ones and um, always adding color as I was able to set aside time. So uh, I'm not sure the fox is actually a good addition to this page, but uh, at least it has similar colors. So I feel it somehow pulls the page together um, a bit better. We had a very rainy summer this year, so it was a great year for my veggie garden and for the plants in general. And these sketches were done around the area of my community garden. So there were lots of snails this year, fortunately not in, in the vegetables and interesting plants that are growing in the fields and in the garden area. And there are a few sheep uh, that are always around in the area around the gardens. And of course, the sparrows that are everywhere. So on to the next sketchbook. So this one is a bit larger than the first and still not my favorite paper, but uh, I'll get through this. I'm sure of it. So uh, this is actually a page that I really like. Uh, it wasn't done all in one sitting. I added to it over several weeks and this was during July and August. And we hiked a lot locally in, in areas that are a paradise for all kinds of butterfly species. And um, I didn't have a lot of time for sketching on site. I focused on identifying the species new to me uh, that I observed during those hikes and I took a lot of photo reference and um, yeah I also worked with a new butterfly ID book this year to really be able to learn about our local species. And what I always find is that drawing helps me a lot because it forces you to look very very closely at patterns and individual features of, of the species, especially for all of these uh, little blue butterflies that look similar. So they have very similar markings and um, they are really hard to identify, at least I find that's the case. And um, so I added to this page bit by bit whenever I had spotted a new one. And um, yeah, as I said, I worked for it uh, for several weeks. 
And then on the other hand, there are pages like this that seem to fall apart and seem unfinished. And I'm trying to show you more of these unfinished pages so that you can see that I don't end up with all kinds of pretty pages all the time. And uh, I'm certain that this page could be saved or made better with a few notes and a few structural elements, like maybe like a box around those two birds and a little bit of explaining text and um, just a few more elements that um, can pull this layout together somehow. And then we have the most recent sketches in the sketchbook. They are a few loose flower studies and equally loose landscape studies. And uh, again, I'm not entirely happy with these sketches due to the paper that I used, but it was good to take a closer look at some of these flowers. And these are uh, growing on the same meadows as the butterflies that I showed you earlier. And these are actually the landscapes. And these are really just loose sketches, so they are not really very good, but um, I think they still give a nice uh, sort of atmospheric look at what it's like um, in, these, in these landscapes, in these areas. And that's it really for this summer sketchbook tour. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, all in all, while it was necessary for me to take a break from sketching, I'm surprised I still ended up with quite a few pages and even a few that I really, really like, um, like this one. Uh, what I had planned for and what didn't happen at all this year was plein air uh, sketching, landscape sketching, but it was also a very rainy summer over here. So most of the sketches that you can see in this tour weren't done on site uh, in, in nature, but I did them later back at home, sometimes just because we had to hurry on our hikes to avoid rain or storms and really just bad weather overall. And I'm a bit sad that the summer and the butterfly season is over now, but autumn means that soon there will be all kinds of nice color transitions in nature and more opportunities for bird watching. And I actually still have a lot of butterfly photo material to go through and uh, to study on, on colder days. So I'd like to hear what was your summer like, what have you been sketching recently, just let me know in the comments. I, I really always like to hear what you are up to. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, feel free to comment, like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!